Hi, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today I will be explaining nested if function. Here I have taken sample report on export of few items for 3 months, January, February and March. In the column F I have calculated the total sale also. You can see the formula here. You can see the criteria mentioned here. If the sale is greater than 7000, it will be outstanding. If the sale is greater than 3000, it is satisfactory. And if it is less than 3000, need to improve. Let's see how to give the nested if function. We can apply the formula in this cell. Equals if bracket open. Then we can select this cell F4. F4 greater than 7000. Then we can give one comma. If we are updating the text here, value if true. So we have to type outstanding comma. Again, we have to give the function if again bracket open cell number. This cell number we need to select, or we can just type the cell reference F4 greater than 3000 comma inverted comma satisfactory we can type it here then again inverted comma then comma again open inverted comma need to improve close the inverted comma then we can see how many brackets are we have open one and two so two brackets we we need to close as well then press enter so we can see here six thousand six six thousand is greater than three thousand so it is satisfactory so if we are dragging down we will get the details let's see that see this is the first one it's satisfactory this is two thousand seven hundred Say this it, that is less than 3000, so it has mentioned need to improve. And here, the last one 8300, it is above 7000, so it is mentioned as outstanding. So the formula we can just check it again equals if this cell number F4 greater than greater than 7000, then if we need to give any text, we have to give we have to open the inverted comma once the text is. Over, we have to close the inverted comma. Then we have to put the comma, and this is the second part. If F4 greater than 3000, greater than 3000, then it will be satisfactory. Again, uh, inverted comma open, satisfactory. We have to type it, then close the inverted comma. Then we have to give the comma, and this is the third stage. Open the inverted comma. We have to type need to improve and close the inverted comma and these two brackets as well because we have open one bracket here the second bracket here so we have close the brackets then press enter then if we are dragging down we will get the details hope you have understood how to use nested if function in excel thank you for watching my channel please like comment and subscribe